Given the restrictions and movements imposed due to the COVID-19 pandemic, the demand for augmented reality and virtual reality solutions is likely to increase. With this in mind, the Caribbean Industrial Research Institute's Kariri held a competition to find some of those solutions and awarded a winner whose project was both profitable and technically viable. Kimberly D'Souza reports. Augmented reality and virtual reality solutions are becoming the norm as people's interaction with information and communication technology, ICT, increases. In an effort to generate interest locally, the Caribbean Industrial Research Institute, Kariri, held an ARVR challenge to identify high potential ideas for commercialization. The project, winning up to $40,000, Rome Reality, is an augmented reality game which is meant to change the way people explore destinations and offer a new way for brands to advertise their products. Within the experience when persons are going outside to find these AR stars, we will also be leveraging with sponsors. So for instance, if it's Coca-Cola or Digicel, while persons are out there looking for stars, they would also be coming across AR experiences that would be advertising Coca-Cola or Digicel. You could actually have a bottle pouring, you could have a car doing a demo, and that is how we're going to work in the advertising into the experience. Chairman of Kariri, Hayden Ferreira, said he was surprised by the level of interest in the competition. A total of 83 submissions were received. Only five projects made it to the final round, which covered topics such as carnival, the environment, and education. Minister in the Ministry of Public Administration and Digital Transformation, Senator Hassel Bacchus, said it was evident from the group's submissions that TNT has the talent to produce work that could withstand any product anywhere in the world. It is because of programs like what's happening here where some of that is being exposed. But I want us, the people, citizenry, business, to understand that when we ask and when we put problems to people to solve, local people using their own ingenuity and talent, that the products that we get back will be and expect them to be of the highest quality. The project was completed in partnership with AmCham TNT and the Inter-American Development Bank with support from Rams Logistics and Avasant. Kimberly D'Souza, TTT News.